was playing to see on YouTube, just a quick update on the old uh, A1200, got it up and running, put an expansion card in, um, upgraded the ROM chips, gave it a retro bright, looking lovely, Total tank mouse working fine. Now this uh, video is a quick way to, if you do do an expansion on this, uh, these come with, this is an old A500 PSU, which is good for the base spec, but if you start upgrading it with expansion cards, extra memories and processors and things, it won't work. So what I've done is, hacked up an old ATX PSU now, unless you know what you're doing, don't do this. Right, it's quite safe if you know what you're doing. Number one, don't open it up. The capacitor is inside that can zap you. You have been warned. Don't do that unless you really know what you're doing. I haven't done that, right? This is an ATX power supply, standard ATX PSU. That's the nasty end going to the mains. Transforms down. Yellow is plus 12 volts. Black is ground. Um, red is plus 5 volts. And blue is minus 12 volts. Okay, so what we do, we cut the end off, this end off, the old power supply. And what you see, you have to test this with a multimeter, but red is normally 5 volts plus, black is normally ground, white is normally minus 12 volts, and brown is normally plus 12 volts, and the unshielded wire is a shield wire. Now, the first way I wired this up was with these cables and and I've soldered them together when I figured out it worked. Um, <clears throat> there are pinouts available. You just need to touch a multimeter to the pins. Uh, so, for example, you touch your positive multimeter to the 5 volt pin and the black uh, negative multimeter pin to the ground. And you do the same for the brown and the ground, and then the white and the ground. Um, <clears throat> so, I will post a picture, but basically, you snip off the square connector because you can't get these for love nor money. When it's obviously unplugged, strip the wires back, and then what you do is you take your ATX power supply. You have to, when it's unplugged, you see I've done a bit of a hack here. It won't turn on unless the green, this is the PC board connector. So you need to bridge, you can see that bridge the green and the black. Green and black, not on others. Green and black on the motherboard connector. That will make the power supply run when it's not plugged into a motherboard. Okay, and then you need to take, normally they come with these Molex connectors. So on these Molex, red 5 volts, black ground, yellow uh, 12 volts so all you're missing is the blue one which is negative so basically what you do back to the uh, motherboard connector and if you can see that there I've cut blue wire blue wire again test these with a multimeter before you do this cut the blue wire and then so what I've basically done as you can see there I've got a red, a yellow, two blacks because that's how it worked out, and a blue. Blacks are ground, so you tie them together. So basically, a red, a blue, a yellow, and oh, for fuck's sake. Look. <clears throat> a red, a black, a yellow, and a blue. So blue, minus 12 volts, yellow, plus 12 volts. Black ground, red plus 5 volts. And then I've just wired them like this. So that the um, red on the Amiga, on the this side, the Amiga side, the red, this red, this type of red, goes to the red on there. The white on the Amiga which is the minus 12 volts goes to the blue on the ATX power supply the black goes to black 
and the brown and the Amiga ATX power supply with the pin here, this bit goes to yellow. Okay, uh, worth doing if you do do this. Uh, don't blame me, but basically, it will work. I'm not going to touch that, it's not a problem. That end you don't want to touch, you don't want to open this up. Okay, but um, if you do do it, get the pin out of Google for the A500 power supply pin out. Power it up, this, with your green black bridge with your black tip, and then on the pins of this. Touch the ground and then touch that to either the 5 volt plus, 12 volt plus, or the 12 volt minus, and see what your multimeter gives you before you plug it into this. If you plug it in wrong, it'll fry something. And I don't want to be responsible for you messing anything up, but you can get a cheap old ATX power supply to power your Amiga. Cheers, bye.